In the Hoop Designer puts you in the driver's seat to create your own In the Hoop projects. When doing so, there's a few tips to keep in mind. First, stitch responsibly. If you make changes to the template, then make changes to the instructions, such as the fabric cutting. Open the wizard, click on Open, and select a 6x10 hanging. Click OK. Here, let's change the size to fit in a 5x7 hoop. And then we'll click Apply. Notice the final size is fitting a 5x7 hoop. But let's look at the instructions. They are still directing you to cut fabrics for a 6x10 hanging. So you'll have to change the size of those cut pieces. To determine what size to cut those pieces, let's go back to the design and close the instructions. In the Properties box, select the first color and go to the Transform tab. It tells you that the size of this is 4.3 by 7 inches. So cut your fabric a little bit more generous, right? Possibly 5.5 by 8 inches. And that will be plenty of fabric for this project. Second, follow the process. Even though you can customize the templates by changing the size, text, or charm designs, the process of each template remains the same. The order in which placement guides, zippers, tack downs, and fabric sections are applied is what makes each project successful. For instance, do not move the background fill forward or it will cover the monogram and charm design. Respect the process and you will be successful. Third, know your zippers. Size 3 zippers have teeth that measure 3 millimeters, while size 5 zippers have 5 millimeter teeth. Those 2 millimeters make a big difference when digitizing In The Hoop projects. That's why the zipper bags in In The Hoop Designer software are designed specifically for the zipper size. So select your design to match your zipper. Mm -hmm.